before, um, around our second month of pregnancy, I started having these symptoms of severe shooting pain up um, both sides of my pelvis. And it got to the point where one day I left from the gym and I came home and I got out of my car and I couldn't walk. So that really freaked me out. Um, I asked my OB, uh, what can I do? And he said, you can wear a, a support belt. So I tried that had a lot of other instances of where I would stand up from being in the car or sitting or even getting out of bed and um, I wouldn't be able to walk or move at all. It was so painful and I would literally just break down in tears. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> it, was bad. it was bad. And he would have to like hold me um, until I could start to walk and then I'd have to sit down for a while. So um, we went to a doula class um, by Gold Coast Doulas and I told her about the pain that I was experiencing and she recommended I find a chiropractor who specializes in the, um, oh my gosh, the Webster method. So um, we, I googled and I found, I just googled best chiropractor <laughs> in West Michigan and I found Queer Connections and I came in and the first time I, got, I saw Dr. Sean, um, after all my tests were done, I stood up and I couldn't walk. <laughs> so it's kind of perfect. Um, so that day he helped me. Um, and he did adjust me that first day because he saw like, okay, she's really struggling. Um, huge help. Huge. Oh, shit. Seriously, the only thing that has helped me with that pain. Um, and he made it so I was able to actually enjoy the rest of my pregnancy. Um, and be able to, to keep living my life. Like I have to go to work, I have to clean my house, I have to be there for, to support my husband and my yeah. family, so yeah, huge help. Huge help. <laughs> yeah. Um, so being adjusted is actually, it's very gentle. Um, they don't ever push your body to a point that you leave in any sort of discomfort. Um, you leave, um, it's like your mind kind of clears when you leave uh, things eventually after the first week or two you start to you can notice the difference in your body and the way that you move um and i would say that it helps your body like align in a way that uh, nothing else truly can make you feel like that uh, speak to julian yeah uh, julian was born via cesarean and uh having to watch him come into this world you see a lot of pushing, pulling, prodding taking place for him to just be brought out of the womb. That can cause a lot of damage to the body, a lot of trauma. Um, and just following Dr. Shaw's suggestion, just getting them the best first steps forward really was important to us. And honestly, since his first adjustments, we've seen a lot of uh, behavioral and even his, his general flow has been remarkable. Sleep. Sleep. He sleeps. So sleeps. And he's just so much more of a calm. Yes. And if it's something that allows us to have that little bit more reassurance that he's in alignment with life, that gives us a lot of peace of mind. There you go. You got it. <laughs> you what know, is a dad watching somebody, you know, alter your child a little bit? It can be a little nerve wracking at first, but just remember you trust these folks with your own body. So it just makes us trust with your child. And they, you guys are very uh, detailed in your explanation of the movement and the why the movement is occurring. And that trust in self just allows it to be very easy to understand and go forward on. And it's so gentle. Like yeah. Julian doesn't like jerk or flinch or Good. do anything. He loves looking at whoever is adjusting him and yeah. he looks so peaceful. Oh yeah, he's peaceful. Oh, but the, yeah. the poops after the adjustment, that just, is a thing. That is a thing. Like yeah. an hour after they are adjusted. <laughs> the release. <laughs> the release of. <laughs> Yeah, he's letting us know that uh, his body is working with the adjustment. Yeah. So be prepared to pack a deck bag. Yeah. <laughs> so for me, like a lot of dads, guys, uh, from sports to work, I've been a wrecking ball. Uh, have been the best. Usually I take care of everybody else first. Uh, following the advice of my wife, seeing the results she had, I was curious and great consultation, very clear. I understood what was going to be needed to make those steps forward and uh, just being open to the process. Um, and just to adjustments, I feel look really different. I feel like I'm getting closer to balance and I think overall my mood has been improved. Yeah, I can just say. Yeah, yes, yeah. say. you're more patient. More patient? <laughs> I don't know, they just feel a little bit more on the same line. You know, and that's nice. That's nice to have. I, I was skeptical. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Um, I mean, because it's a more it's a more holistic approach. Like Dr. Sean and Dr. Crystal, they don't push medication. They don't push it. It's a it's a different approach that some people might find weird mm -hmm. or um, contemplate. Like, oh, is this gonna work for me? But the results that I've had um, are that it, it can it's only come from this office. Yeah. Nothing else could have helped me. Yeah. Um, 
and I think I, you should give it a try. Um, you should you should trust your instincts when you meet the doctors because you can tell that they're good people who truly care, right. um, and they're here to help you. So. Yeah, and just like a lot of deaths, keeping it simple. We waste money on extracurricular habits to make ourselves feel better. This is something that I know is God getting that return on the investment. So it's definitely worth a try.